What's up everyone, Jonathan here from French Canadian Studio. Hopefully everybody's going well. I'm going fantastic. So as you're seeing, I'm starting a big project in the development of Dementophobia. Uh, if you if you haven't done so, go follow the game everywhere. If it's your first time here, we'd really appreciate that. Uh, the FR Can Studio on Twitter and pretty much French Canadian Studio everywhere. Uh, if you want to follow the development of all my games in Dementophobia and check out, of course, Patreon if you'd like to support the development of all the game. So what you're seeing is the big big first step of first something I have never done is modeling a uh, 3D model of a, cat a character. As you're seeing, I'm using right now, I'm using a, what's called a, a Phase Builder by Keen Tool, which is the add-on for uh, the 3D modeling software, uh, Blender, which allows me to build uh, the head and I wanted to build the body from there. But the problem, as you're seeing, is if you're if you know a bit about development, is there's a lot too many uh, faces on the mesh. Uh, the mesh basically is what you're seeing right now. I'm adjusting the mesh to my to my face. But the problem is there's too many faces, and it would be pretty um, too labor intensive for uh, a game if you're trying to play it on more older system. So what I decided to do is try a different approach. It was uh, 3D. Uh, Poly, poly modeling instead, which is basically I start with a simple shape and then I take pictures as you see, importing reference pictures of myself, uh, which is you know, it's basically the main thing I'm using to uh, 3D model the body I'm using. And uh, from there, I'm now right now I'm basically adjusting the height to a realist to my realistic height with, with my realistic height, which is five foot uh, nine inches. So th the block I create is that height, and I adjust the pictures in accordingly to what I need. So after that, I start basically uh, slowly but surely modeling the, the from scratch uh, to have the lowest amount of faces. So you see like this base form has a very, uh, not a lot of faces. It has 56 faces to start off with and as I progress, of course, there's more and more as I add multiple uh, things to uh, my uh, model. So yeah, basically poly, model poly modeling is basically when you just start from what you're seeing right now is you start from a simple shape and you add on, you add on, you add on slowly. Which is uh, it's it is labor intensive. Uh, it's uh, but uh, uh, what I'm doing right now is basically building a simple uh, base mesh for a character that I can build off a uh, future uh, few, future thing I'm uh, I'm going to do. So basically, right now what I'm doing is I'm doing the eyes. So I added uh, different uh, edges to help me uh, construct the proper uh, proper eye socket, basically, in the eye. So just. So one thing I've done, I'm, I'm, while you're watching this, I'm I, I'm following a tutorial while I'm doing uh, the, the the building just so I, because what I'm trying to do too is build something that will give me uh, enough uh, basically uh, anatomy around the, the mesh. So basically, when you're trying to animate, if you're if you're not if you don't know what the, if you don't you don't know too much about this is you need a um, basically you need a lot of mesh if you want to animate let's say facial expression stuff like that so i'm trying to do it as anatomically correct hopefully i said that right and animat animatically correct so uh and that uh, anyway i'm trying to get it as uh, as good as i can so when i'm, I'm going to be animating all the body parts it's going to be moving more realistically uh I'll, I'll, you'll see in future development videos the way i'm going to do that basically i'm going to try to mocap my face to and put it on top of this model once I get that done. So even right now, as you're seeing, I'm modeling the, uh, the nose, which is it's a bit weird. Now I'm moving on to the mouth. Uh, right here I made a mistake, which I noticed a bit later, that uh, what you're trying to do too is trying to get like around the mouth. You're trying to get a perfect like cir uh, perfect circle. You say select it a couple of times to see what it looks like. But then I made a mistake because I didn't choose one of the right faces. I sort of ruined uh, up the, around the eye. You're supposed what, what's called a mask. And um, basically, you'll see. I, I, I at some point I stop and then I try. I right about here. I think right there. You see where it should continue on the bridge to the nose. But I made the mistake. The mouth one's good, but the problem is the one around the eye should be completely. From the nose to the forehead without uh, going towards the mouth and you see I, I, I click it on a couple more times you see there it's not supposed to go that way down there so right now I'm trying to correct it uh, what one thing's nice is I've been practicing with Blender for almost six more than six months now and I have prior experience which I'll try to do a Q&A of how I start why I decided to do uh, game development but that's uh, another so for another time uh, I've been doing modeling for uh, more or less 10 years so I'm, I'm used to adjusting models and con consequently to make sure that it works properly so basically right now, right now working on the mouth we're working on the lips trying to adjust um, the lips to where somewhere where uh, the models uh, where the, the tutorial is telling me uh, where the lips or the teeth should be uh, that that's one thing I, I, I keep adjusting even right now to the model 
So yeah, I'm screwing around with that, just trying to make the lips work properly with the... See, it looks kind of weird right now. I go back to it a bit later on in the next part. So right now, I'm moving on to the next day, the, the day after I just... So it's a bit clearer look. I put the transparency down a bit so I can see a bit more of my model on the other side so it looks more symmetrical. And then, of course, it's a lot of readjusting and readjusting slowly but surely to make sure everything looks nice. Then, of course, I go back a bit with the... I go back to the, to the mouth to try to readjust it. Because I felt like there was something a bit weird going on. So I, I forgot actually, yeah, right there I added, I, I was missing a loop and I have to readjust because now it looks weird, it should actually be inversed. So then just still a bit more readjusting, adjusting the cheekbones so it looks nice. Adjusting some of the, some of, some of the lines so it has a better flow to it. Then after that I'm adding a couple more. There, uh, you saw there, I'm slowly just checking how the model looks, uh, how the model looks with uh, when I put a sort of modifier to make it look sh smoother. Uh, to see if all my lines flow properly. So right now I'm going to start with the ear and not too long, just slowly readjusting stuff so I don't have to readjust everything later too again. Like you see, it's not I'm doing the ear. I'm try like, as, you're, as, as you can see, I'm trying to slowly model towards what uh, the picture I have of myself, but the model is not perfect. It's not going to be exactly like me, so I'm trying to readjust it properly. There's a couple of lines still readjusting, but the ear was a I would say the ears that was the most complicated part so far to adjust as I'm right now used to talk more towards the end of the video. I've done the torso and I'm next up this week I'm gonna be starting the arms and the legs probably. Probably get the model the base mesh done. Yeah, but the ear was a tricky one. It has a lot of intricate low you have the lobe, you have like right now I'm modeling the that little part, the little thing sticking out, I don't know the name of it, but yeah. The, the basic, yeah, the basic thing is trying to make it look as realistic as possible, but at the same time not losing so much time that I'm, like, you're, someone's, most people won't look inside the ear, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, it's slowly readjusting, I'm basically building the inside of the ear. And it's, it's fun, I like doing these things, except for, for some reason it created a weird face when I extruded it, but... Sorry, if you're, if you're, if you're, you don't know what, if you don't do game development, this might seem weird, but... Uh, it's, I, I really enjoy it. So I'm basically doing the inside little weird thing inside the ear. <laughs> that was the hardest part, I think, for Mal because it, was, it had a weird shape. But with the tutorial, which I'll link in the description below, it's by, uh, I don't remember exactly when, but I'll put it in the link in the description below if you want to follow uh, the tutorial. Of course, it's part of one thing I forgot to mention too is I do, I am uh, doing a mirror, so I don't have to model both sides at the same time. So the the face will be symmetrical, and later when I'm going to be using the model, I'm going to be uh, uh, putting imperfection on both sides to, to what I want later on. So right now I'm just just basically readjusting everything so I can extrude the neck from now. See, see now, I was having problems because the tour was telling me to to try to do a perfect circle with a one of the features in Blender, but it was never working, so I had to pretty much do it manually to try to get get it to look uh, as much as I can, as much of a circle I could, and then it's readjusting all the muscles, and it's, it's trying to get it as much as I, as, as I know I'm battling on a bit there, but it's trying to get it as realistic as possible to what I want it to look like, as as many, uh, as, as much as, I have as many muscles I can put in to try to make it look as realistic while it's moving and all that things. So, yeah. so just about a minute left to what uh, to the video. Right now, I'm just finishing down the torso. But thanks so much for watching the tutorial, uh, watching my devlog for this week. Hopefully, you enjoy. Um, you know, working on the chest area. So yeah, go follow me over. Uh, like I said, beginning uh, for Can Studio on Twitter and pretty much French Canadian Studio everywhere else. If you want to like, support, uh, get your get your name in the, uh, uh, get a shout out in the tutorial, or get your name in the game, or get a early access to the devlog. Of course, go uh, follow on the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash French Canadian Studio. So thank you so much for watching. Keep on keeping on.